five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift. For three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, X4. Every nation waits for that moment, the moment that takes your breath away. When history stops being distant and becomes personal. For India, the moment came after 40 years when Group Captain of the Indian Air Force Shubhanshu Shukla created history by becoming the first Indian ever to set foot on the International Space Station. The feat came after the successful docking of Axiom 4 mission a landmark private space flight launched by Axiom Space in partnership with SpaceX. The capsule itself, Grace, has been very kind. I have been feeling, uh, I was not feeling very great when we, you know, got shot into the vacuum. But since yesterday, I've been told that I've been sleeping a lot, which is a good <laughs> sign. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a great sign. I'm, I'm getting used to this quite well, enjoying the views, enjoying the entire experience, or learning like a baby, you know, learning the new steps, learning how to walk, learning how to control yourself, everything, learning how to eat, I think. So it's a new environment, new challenge, and I'm really enjoying this experience with my uh, fellow astronauts here. The Axiom mission 4, or AX-4, was launched uh, from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Wednesday with a brand new SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule riding atop a Falcon 9 rocket. Group Captain Shukla became the first Indian astronaut to travel to the International Space Station in the last 40 years, only after the revered Indian astronaut Rakesh Sharma. Sharma spent eight days in orbit as part of the then Soviet Union's Salyut 7 space station in 1984. The Axiom-4 mission, led by Peggy Whitson, the most experienced astronaut in American history, who has spent more days in space than any other woman globally. Now, the other two mission specialists are Tibor Kapu from Hungary and Swavosh Uznanski Vishni Ufski from Poland. The mission marks the return to space for not just India, but Poland and Hungary as well. The Indian Air Force officer piloting Axiom 4 mission has sent a powerful message to India from abroad, the Dragon spacecraft, as it orbits the Earth. Namaskar, What a ride. After ride. His words, brimming with emotion and patriotism, marked a historic return for the nation to space after a 41-year gap. Prime Minister Narendra Modi welcomed the successful launch of the Axiom-4 space mission. The Prime Minister said, and I quote, we welcome the successful launch of the space mission carrying astronauts from India, Hungary, Poland and the US. The Indian astronaut group captain Shubhanshu Shukla is on the way to become the first Indian to go to the International Space Station. He carries with him the wishes, hopes and aspirations of 1.4 billion Indians wishing him and other astronauts all the success. The successful launch of Axiom-4 mission has ignited a wave of pride across India. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh said that India is no longer a follower, but an equal partner in all collaboration. It's a quantum leap. And uh, of course, after 40 years, an Indian astronaut has gone up, but the, there's a huge, huge difference between the expedition that happened in 1984 uh, where Rakesh Sharma went. The difference then and now is that at that time our space program was just in infancy. There was not much to offer 
and not much was expected of India, not did we uh, look for too much. But today, India is an equal partner. It is not only collaborating in the scientific uh, experiments, but rather playing a leading role. He has been assigned to perform uh, the various experiments which have been broadly classified into f seven categories. India is coming of age as a player in space. Uh, you, you know, you look back uh, decades to when space was a province for countries like the United States and the Soviet Union. Now it's much more varied and we see that India is one of the truly fastest growing countries in space. Our country is too. We congratulate India on all its success. Shukla's participation in Axiom 4 marks a major symbolic and strategic milestone in the country's human space flight ambitions. India's space agency, ISRO, sees this flight as a key stepping stone towards its own maiden crewed mission, planned for 2027 under the Gaganyaan program, meaning Skycraft. Former scientist and professor at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, R.C. Kapoor said, that the mission is an extraordinary opportunity for the country. But the main question here is, what will the astronauts do aboard the International Space Station? The space station orbits Earth about 250 miles above the planet. Once they arrive, the Axiom crew members, they're expected to stay there for about two weeks. They will conduct research for dozens of scientific studies on behalf of 31 nations. The studies will cover how Cancers behave in low Earth orbit. Wireless acoustics, microalgae in space, 3D printed polymers, DNA repair and other subjects. Experiments will improve our understanding of space and its effects on biology and microgravity. Projects will also investigate how tardigrades, microanimals on Earth that can survive extreme environments would fare in space. The other experiments aim to identify how muscle loss occurs in space and how it can be treated. And last but not the least, the physical and cognitive impact of using computer screens in microgravity. The Axe 4 mission is more than just a flight. It's a turning point in international space participation. It promotes equitable access to low Earth orbit through commercial partnerships. Now India is entering a new era of space exploration. The Gaganyaan mission, a national program that could launch a crewed spacecraft as early as 2027, would make India the fourth country to independently send humans into space after Russia, the United States and China. The human space flight program will further elevate India's growing stature in space exploration following milestones like the successful Mars Orbiter mission and the historic landing of spacecraft on the moon's southern polar region. The Axiom 4 mission is not just a scientific feat, but a testament to India's rising stature as a global technology powerhouse. It reinforces the nation's capability to lead space innovation, promote sustainability, and contribute meaningfully to global missions. Thanks for watching. That's all we have in this edition of Connecting the Dots. We'll see you in the next episode with more raging issues. Until then, it's goodbye from all of us in the Delhi newsroom. This is Mark Lynn signing off. Take care and stay safe. Namaskar.